This little demonstration relates to exercise number three in module two, um, and it involves charcoal drawing. And an exciting way to work with charcoal is to tone your paper first before you start the drawing. So you rub, put your char, uh, um, um, break a little stick of charcoal, flatten it on one side. Put it on a clean table with no bumps and lumps underneath it, and just uh, you will be you'll be doing a much bigger still life than I'm going to do here. I'm just going to do one little apple, but you would tone your whole paper, and then when you've rubbed your charcoal over it, the whole thing, just rub it with your finger to even out the texture so that it becomes just nice and even and smoky. If you don't like getting it on your hands, you can rub it gently with a tissue just so that it comes to a sort of a number three or number four tone, evenly gray. And this creates a medium tone for your drawing uh, before you even start. And you often get very lovely atmospheric uh, effects with this way of drawing. Now you can either draw your still life with your charcoal, um, with your stick charcoal, or you can draw it with your rubber. And drawing with a rubber involves looking for the light. Then I've got a very light area on the side of my my apple here. So I'm going to sort of, sort of just gently draw it in with my rubber a light area here. I'm looking for highlights now. I'm looking for areas where my apple actually is lighter tone than the tone I've already put onto the paper. So I've got a nice highlight at the top of the apple here and the whole of the side of the apple is lighter than the number two or three tone that I've already put onto the paper. So I'm taking this away with my rubber. And on this side, I'm going to, because this side is darker than what I've got on the paper, and there's a strong silhouette on this side, I'm going to just roughly draw in my apple on this side with my thick charcoal, and then with my big fat flat charcoal, I'm going to tone it it on this side to make it look three-dimensional, looking very carefully at the shape of the shadow, looking carefully to see if the edge of the shadow is a soft edge or if it's a hard, sharp edge. And because an apple is a smoothly rounded thing, there are no hard edges in the shadow here. It's a very soft transition between the light side and the dark side. So we try to grade it across gradually to get a smooth transition in the tone. There's a darker area in the little declivity on the top. And this is a very effective and quick way to do a tone drawing because the medium tone is already there for you. And then, actually down here at the bottom, there's a little bit of reflected light coming off the table onto the bottom of the apple, yeah. a little bit of reflected light, so just take it out with your tissue or your finger, and the shadow underneath is actually darker than the apple. The shadow then to show up in the bottom of the apple. It's a nice soft edged shadow, it's a multiple shadow actually, there are various light, light sources so that the shadow has various complex edges within it. Right. There's your apple. It's a lovely way to draw this. And often you, you get the effect that um, your whole still life is sort of bathed in moonlight. It can be very beautiful. So you do a whole still life with all your objects, please, and do it in this method and you'll find it very exciting and actually quite easy.